one of the key things to present your work and get noticed on Dribbble is to have a great thumbnail. So as you can see here, I noticed that still we have a lot of shots here with empty colored covers. And this is a big problem because you can't see all the magic that happens under it. Yes, you can see it when you hover it or when you go into the detail page, but this is a big issue. You, you lose a lot of potential here of people getting interested in your work. And as you can see, it's a lot of those right here. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can easily cut your dribble shots so you can select the best possible cover for your work. Here's an example of what we can make. This is some previous work I've done. And how Dribble works is that you can only pick the cover from any of the frames within the video. So you can't upload your own custom one. So in the bottom left here, we can see before whatever happens when we post this flow. Since it starts on black, that's going to be the cover, the first frame. In the bottom right, however, this is what we want to achieve. We want to create that nice catching thumbnail. So you can immediately see the difference here. You're getting right into the interaction and you get right to the key thing of this flow. So the thing we need to do now is to simply cut this video in the specific moment and we can do this in any software of your choice but I'm going to showcase it here in After Effects. So here we are in After Effects. I'm going to drag in my animation flow. I'm going to right click and select new comp from selection. Then I'm going to go in the timeline here and I'm going to try to find which frame I want to make the cover. So I kind of want to have the initial part here with the pumpkin. So as you can see it's black and now we're going to select this right before the cursor comes in into the view. So let's scrub that here and there we have it. And now we click Command Shift D or Control Shift D if you're on PC. And then we simply drag this end part layer to the left and the bottom part to the right. So there we actually have it. It wasn't harder than that and you're ready to go. But just for wrapping this up, I can also showcase how you can add this into the proper dribble format. So let's go up into composition and then new composition. And I'm going to select 1920 times 1440. This is later going to be scaled down to 1600. But I do this because I want to use it maybe in some reels in the future and also to get that nicer high definition. So here, let me scale it down here to get some padding in the edge. I'm gonna go into the rectangle tool and select transform and fit to comp to get that background. I'm gonna rename it and I'm also gonna adjust the shade a little bit here too to get a little darker. And with this, we can now add in a final detail by applying a drop shadow to this animation to create some better depth. So let's make it large, a lot of softness here and also some decreasing in opacity to make it not too prominent, but just a small detail here to make it pop from the background. And there we go and we are ready to render. If you want to see a full video of the render settings here, you can see in the top corner. But I'm going to showcase here as well. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this file, paste it on the desktop for now. I'm going to go into the source and here I'm going to adjust the sizing to 1600 and 1200. This is the format the Dribbble uses. And now the key point, if you post a video, it has to be under 10 megabytes. So I'm going to drag down the bitrate here until I have around 10 megabytes. And there we have it. When the render now is completed, then you are ready to take over Dribbble for real. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you found this useful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to connect with me on Dribbble, my handle is Valgraph. Looking forward to connect with you there. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it to help me out here on YouTube. And if you want to stay tuned for the future, subscribe and turn on notifications. And I will see you very soon again.